And a first class traditional ruler and mayor of Zazo, Ambassador Nuhu Bamali, has urged Nigerians to embrace tolerance and unity, irrespective of tribe, cultural, and religious affiliations. The traditional ruler made the appeal in Kaduna at a state level strategic stakeholders engagement workshop. The program tagged effective early warning, early response system in Nigeria was organized by the Institute for Peace in Conflict Resolution, IPCR, in collaboration with the Kaduna State Peace Commission. The issues, you know, ranging from matrimonial issues, inheritance, land disputes, religious intolerance, and also ethnic psychology. This is what we do, appealing to uh, different communities to stay in peace. Because without peace, you can never ever progress in your life. The whole city will be disintegrated, displacement of people, you have refugees, and then you know you have people coming to give you palliatives. People that don't even like your face will now say that they are people that will support you. Also, the Director General of IPCR, Dr. Joseph Ochogo, said building a robust and early conflict response system is key to mitigating against violence and destruction of lives and property. Meanwhile, the Executive Vice Chairman of Cardinal State Peace Commission, Dr. Saleh Momale, hinted that they are working with religious, traditional leaders and youth groups to ensure religious tolerance in the state. Is faced with numerous security challenges that are thwarting the desired unity and cohesion, stability, peace, stability, and peaceful coexistence, an inclusive development necessary for the pursuit of happiness. Violent conflict is threatening the fabric of our existence and challenging our humanity in so many ways. It has become imperative to invoke every patriotic attempt to insist on conflict prevention and non-violent approach to conflict. There is need to find an effective way of communicating early warning to attract the fastest response in order to prevent conflict from escalating into violence. We insisted that we should have a three-digit number in this country that our brothers and sisters that are no opportunity to go to the school will find it very very easy to call for response, quick response. Like Rose safety, we have toll free number, which is very simple. One, two, two. What I'm saying in essence is the whole country should key into one digit. We have like NDLE, they have about eight to nine digits too. Some people will be, find it very difficult to cram it and call it. And front rescue operation is very paramount. That's why we have this golden hour in our city. Once there is a crash, once you call us, within 15 minutes, we'll arrive at the place. On early warning, early response. We are all aware that either directly or indirectly, formally or informally, we have early warning, early response structures within our communities. So this program does not come to reinvent the wheel. The program takes into cognizance existing structures. But what it seeks to do, like the EVC of Kaduna State Peace Commission mentioned, is to create both vertical and horizontal linkages where all the critical stakeholders are on board with this idea, providing a platform for collaboration and coordination amongst them. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.